Hi everybody, today we're going to be working on the hinge for our shipping container. If you go over to Google Classroom, I've uploaded a document that shows the dimensions or the approximate dimensions of this hinge. We're going to start with our basic dimensions, which is it's going to be 3 inches tall by 4 inches wide. Later we'll come into um, that dimension and show you how it interacts with our one or our one <coughs> one inch diameter circle. So we'll go into SketchUp and we'll start by just doing some reference lines. We know that blue is going in the upward direction, so we're going to type in three. I'll zoom in, and then from the midpoint in the red direction, which is parallel to that red line right there, we're going four inches. If we go back to our dimensions here, this is another line that I'm going to make one and a half inches tall. Now if I made it one and a half inches from here, And then I tried to move it. It would also move the line that's connected to it. So that's not the best option for us. I'm going to hit Control Z to go backward one step. And then I'm going to draw that one and a half inch line <clears throat> somewhere else. So 1.5, which is the same as one and a half inches. Then I'll grab that line, move it. From the midpoint to the endpoint. So hopefully you can see how we're starting to build the skeleton for this thing right here. So now we need a one inch diameter circle. If you remember, diameter is from edge to edge, radius is from the midpoint to one of the edges. That's going to be important in just a minute. So I'll go over here. First I'll deselect that blue line that was selected. And I'll go to my circle tool. You can see right now that it's trying to draw the circle in the blue direction, which is not what we want. We want it in the red direction. And I can't get it to snap to where I want it to. So there's a little cheat for this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw <clears throat> a surface that I'm going to draw on. So you can see that that's parallel with our other lines that we drew before. So I'll go over here to my circle tool. And now it's going to green. I said red earlier. I meant green. Okay. So right here you can see that it's asking me for the radius. We want a diameter of 1. So that would mean a radius of half that. Which you could either write as 1 backslash 2 or 0.5. And then I hit enter. And I've got my circle. I'm going to copy and paste by holding down Control C and Control V, and then I'll paste it somewhere in space. We don't need this anymore, so I'm going to delete it. Okay, then I'm going to select the object that I want to move. Go over here to my Move tool. And I'm going to select from that endpoint right there, which is the right hand side of the circle, and snap it to right there. I could hit Control C and Control V again, but the circle is already on our clipboard, so it's already been Control C. So I just got to click Control V. Then I'm going to move it from the right hand side again to that spot at the bottom of that line. So you can see how this is starting to take shape based on these other shapes that we drew first. <clears throat> from there, I'm going to draw another reference line from the bottom of that circle to the top of that circle to make sure that we're snapping to the right spot. Then a line from right there to that spot right there, and one from there to that spot right there. So now we've created that shape. We just have a whole bunch of extra reference lines that we don't need. So I'm going to go in and delete those reference lines. You could do it with the eraser tool and click on each individual line. I like to use the select tool. So I just select and then hit delete. If you wanted to select and then hit shift, 
you can select multiple lines to delete at the same time to make your work a little bit faster. So once again, referencing this right here, um, we now have that shape. If we go over here, we can see that that has a thickness of one quarter of an inch. And we know that the diameter of this bottom circle is going to be one half inch. I want to create that thickness first so that I can snap the midpoint of the circle to the midpoint of this thickness right here. So I'll go over to my push-pull command <clears throat> and I'll tell it one quarter of an inch. You could also write that as 0.25. So now our hinge has some thickness to it. We know that the, di the diameter of the circle is going to be one half of an inch. So I'll go over here to my circle tool. But it's asking for the radius. So that's basically half the diameter. So if our diameter is a half inch, the radius is going to be a quarter of an inch. Now I'm going to take that circle and move it from the midpoint to that midpoint right there. And sometimes finding the midpoint on a circle is kind of tough, but it worked fine that time. If it's not finding the midpoint for you, I would recommend rotating around and looking at it from a different view and seeing if that helps. So I'm going to snap it to the midpoint, not the end point. There we go. And finally, the last step is to push-pull from that surface and snap to one of these corners up here. And then you have your hinge ready to go and ready to put it on your shipping container doors. We'll go over how to space these hinges out so that it's nice and ordered in the next video.